One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One. Mike Kenning here, coming to you today with the old gospel song, Nothing But the Blood of Jesus. We're going to be in the key of A. I've got my capo on the second fret, fifth string tuned up to A. We're thinking out of the key of G, though. I had a request to do this song, and I thought it'd be fun to work up kind of an intermediate version, advanced beginner version. But we've got two solos for the song, for the verse and the chorus, two full solos. I'll break them down note for note, just like I played at the beginning. And then lastly, we'll talk some backup. So I personally like to keep the chords pretty simple on the song. I just use the one and the five chord, but we'll talk about some reharmonization possibilities, adding that six minor chord, adding a B minor. We'll just talk about some kind of gospel reharmonization you can do. On these old gospel songs, you might hear the chords played a lot of different ways. So it's good practice to kind of get used to hearing how this song could sound with different harmonization. All right, let's jump into solo number one for Nothing But the Blood of Jesus. And let's start breaking down solo number one to Nothing But the Blood of Jesus. I've got my capo on the second fret. My fifth string is tuned up to A. We're thinking out of the key of G, but we're gonna sound like the key of A. So let's play the first nine measures, it's like halfway through the, the verse part, and then we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Do it really slow. part. So the melody is, is in its basic form is so something like that, right? So it's basically all chord tones except for one passing tone. So we're using the chord tones of the key of G, remember relative to our capo. So our open three strings, and then the other note we're using is the second fret on the third string. That's the basically the notes we need for this opening part. So we're playing so chord tones followed by a passing tone right here. Chord tone, chord tone, chord tone, right? And then chord tone, pa passing tone, chord tone. And then this is a chord tone on the D chord. Okay, so that's the basic melody we're gonna play for that part. So we're gonna start with a little rolling pickup, one of my favorite. This is like a JD Crow style intro. So what we're gonna do is a two, three hammer on on the third string with a forward roll, thumb index middle with my right hand on the top three strings, strings three, two, one. And then I go back to the open third string and then down to the second fret of the fourth string. 
and then we're going to land on the open third string to start it. So you can you can loop it if you add that open third string. It would sound like this. Just kind of a cool way instead of just like walking up something like that. Now we're kind of rolling into it. And then measure two is pretty easy. We land on the open third string. And then thumb middle, the outside strings, eighth notes, two and. And then a two five slide on the four string with a forward roll, thumb index, middle, and then thumb. And then we're gonna start the next measure with our index finger. Do the outside strings again. And then open third string, second fret on the third string. So let's put those three together. We have one. Count beat one of, of measure one, that's of the rest, one. Only tricky part, you just have to use your index finger to start measure three because the last note of measure two is your thumb. And then a little response lick, two, four slide on the third string with an alternating thumb roll. And then a two, three hammer on, on the second string with a uh, alternating thumb roll, or actually it's going to be thumb middle, thumb middle on this one. So we go. And what we're doing there is we're just emphasizing those open chord tones instead of just going. Now we're finding those notes and sliding into them. So we're sliding into that note on the fourth string if you're in tune, right? We're just taking that melody and making it sound more like a bluegrass banjo. And then back to measure five, two, four slides, same idea, highlighting that second string, but we're sliding into it on a string lower. And then do thumb index middle, T-I-M again, and then thumb index. So you have. bring out that second string melody. So let's play four and five together. We have. Don't rush through those slides and hammer-ons. Common mistake. And then measure six. Basically like a variation on measure three, except we're playing that melody into a forward roll instead of doing. syncopation so that's what we're doing there just a forward roll lick and then measure seven two four slide on the the third string so your your second finger is already down just keep it down now slide it up alternating thumb roll and then a forward roll so T I M T. now move your index finger back or your middle finger excuse me your middle finger back down to the second fret of the third string pinch strings three and one that's like a D, so I'm just pinching to fill it up. And then do a forward roll, five, three, one. Back to the third string, back to the fifth string, open first string, and then a thumb pinch. Let's play six through nine, we have. song that's the nothing but the blood of Jesus line so so measures one through five are the what will wash away all my sins lyrics right and then the response is nothing but the blood of Jesus that's the six through nine so okay so let's play measures two through nine that's kind of the melody part minus the pickup of measure one. So we have. 